வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு கலி கிளாஸ் ரூம் திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் லெக்சர் ஆஃப் த யூனிட் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் லெக்சர் இன் சிபிஎஸ்இ டென் ஜியாகிரபி சாப்டர் சிக்ஸ் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் லெக்சர் ஓகே வாட் ஆர் வி கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி அபவுட் டெக்ஸ்டைல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இன் இந்தியா அண்ட் வி வில் ஸ்டடி திஸ் வித் கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் ஆன் த்ரீ டாபிக்ஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி Uh, what is the unique position of textile industries in india where are cotton textile industries concentrated in india what is the current situation of textile industries in india and how, what are the issues facing textile industries in india these are the three headings under which we are going to study yeah can we go to the lecture let us look at the first topic so textile industries in india are occupying a very very unique position why sir what is the unique position they are contributing significantly to the industrial production in fact they are contributing 14 percentage of our total industrial production sir how am i supposed to remember the number 14 yeah come i will help you out first uh, let us put a t textile industry so i am putting a one in the sense of t so textile industry and e i am inverting e in such a way i am inverting e in such a way look at this doesn't this look like a four if i am inverting e if i am inverting e in such a way doesn't this look like a four okay so 14 percentage industrial production 14 percentage industrial production is contributed by textile industries remember for it is significant with respect to textile industries remember for okay how why is it significant sir because in fact textile industries are contributing 4 percentage to the gdp gross domestic product for the gross domestic product textile industries is once more contributing 4 percentage okay sir how will how are you going to bring four next textile industries is the second largest uh, employer after agriculture how many people is it employing how many people is textile industries employing numbers before and after four three five numbers before and after four three five 35 million people so textile industries is the second largest employer after agriculture and it is employing 35 million people sir uh, okay what is the next point textile industries is contributing a significantly textile industries is contributing significantly to foreign exchange how much sir almost one quarter once more one by four sir it is given as two four six how are we supposed to remember it all even numbers two four six twenty four point six all are even numbers two four six twenty four point six so uh, textile industries is contributing to twenty four point six percentage to the uh, foreign exchange earnings foreign exchange earnings so let me let us recall all the numbers 14 percentage industrial production textile industries 4 percentage contribution to gdp textile industries 35 million employed in textile industries and finally 24.6 foreign exchange earnings is given by 24.6 percentage of foreign exchange earnings is given by textile industries okay sir it is in fact the only industry in india which is completely self reliant in its entire value chain from the production of raw material to adding value and converting it into finished good it is completely self reliant sir give us a flow chart on how this self reliance works okay let us have a flow chart the first thing is you are going to produce cotton fibers okay so fiber production is producing a lot of cotton fibers what next sir using the cotton fibers you are doing spinning what is spinning spinning is a process which is going to convert the cotton fibers into yarn y a r n yarn which means good quality thread yarn thread okay so the spinning process is converting raw fiber into yarn what next sir this yarn undergoes a process of weaving and knitting this yarn undergoes a process of weaving and knitting and this converts yarn into fabric 
Yarn is converted into fabric by a process of weaving and knitting. What next sir? This fabric is dyed and it is finished. Once the garment is, uh, the fabric is dyed and finished, we get garments and this garment is used for creating clothes. This garment is used for creating clothes. Are you able to understand the entire value chain? The entire value chain is self-sustainable and it is self-reliant. It is self-reliant and complete in its entire value chain. Are you comfortable with this topic? Can we go to why cotton textile industries are concentrated in Maharashtra and Gujarat? We have already seen in the unit agriculture that Maharashtra and Gujarat has a lot of cotton black soil black cotton soil sorry black cotton soil is found in maharashtra and gujarat which is ideal for growing cotton hence maharashtra and gujarat has a lot of availability of raw cotton when will cotton grow cotton needs moist climate that is also present in maharashtra and gujarat so cotton industries need a lot of labor but maharashtra and gujarat have a lot of metro cities which will provide a lot of labor. So, labor is also provided. What next, sir? Maharashtra has a good transport system which includes accessibility to port facilities. Port facilities like Bombay and Navi Mumbai port are being used for exporting and importing cotton based products. Exporting cotton based products. Yeah. So, these are the four major reasons why cotton textile industries are concentrated in the cotton growing belts of obviously cotton growing belts of Maharashtra and Gujarat availability of raw cotton, moist climate, labor, transport including accessible, accessibility to port facilities ok so the cotton industry has very close links with agriculture in fact it provides employment to a lot of people like farmers, cotton bowl pluckers Sir, who are cotton bowl pluckers? People are employed in order to harvest the cotton from the plant. They are called as cotton bowl pluckers. And workers in what industries? Ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing, designing, tailoring, sewing and packaging industries. Okay, sir. What is ginning? You talked about all the other terms and comfortable. What is ginning? G-I-N-N-I-N-G. Ginning is the process by which seeds and other debris are removed from the cotton. It is derived from the word cotton gin. The verb is derived from the noun cotton gin. Right? It was invented by Richard R. Great. Anyway, let's not get diverted. So, ginning is the process by which you are going to uh, remove the seeds from the cotton. Uh, seeds and other debris from the actual cotton. Sir, you have talked about so many processes involved in cotton textile industries. What were the processes? Spinning, weaving. In fact, spinning is going to produce yarn. Weaving is going to convert yarn into fabric. Which type of industry is India well known for? India is well known for producing world class yarn. Spinning industries of India produce world class yarn. Spinning industries of India are producing world class yarn. They are centralized in Maharashtra, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. They are centralized in Maharashtra, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. What about weaving industries sir? Weaving industries are extremely decentralized, highly decentralized because a lot of traditional skills are involved in it for creating cotton, silk, jari, embroidery, kind of textiles and other works textiles and other works it's a very very highly decentralized uh, industry weaving is a highly decentralized industry and it is also producing low quality fabric hand spun khadi is providing a lot of weavers at home employment has a cottage industry home spun khadi is providing a lot of weavers employment how has a cottage industry so that is the situation of cotton textile industries with respect to especially Maharashtra and Gujarat. With respect to especially Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay sir, what is the current scenario in cotton textile industry? The current scenario is with respect to 2011-2012. India has the second largest number of spindles after China. Sir, wait a second. What is the meaning of spindles? Spindles 
uh, okay there will be a structure like this on which the yarn will be rotated on on which the yarn will be threaded around that is called as spindles uh, the more the number of spindles the more the capacity to convert fiber to yarn the more the number of spindles the more the capacity to convert fiber to yarn even though india has the second largest installed capacity of spindles after china our production is not up to the competition in the international market sir why sir what are the limitations that are hindering us that are stopping us from achieving excellence in international market the first thing is indian production is extremely fragmented they are catering to local market rather than thinking about international market the the entire production system is fragmented they are producing and they are catering they are selling it to local market they are not thinking about the quality of international standards okay sir what next in india weaving and knitting machines are outdated we have very very old weaving and knitting machines we need new machines these machines need upgrading because of this we are not able to produce high quality yarn in the country so what are the other issues facing our cotton textile industries we have erratic power supply our power supply can go off at any time that has to improve power supply is erratic and indian labor is giving low output indian labor has not been efficiently trained to give high output right now they are giving low output okay sir also indian cotton industry is getting stiff competition from where sir from synthetic fiber industry from synthetic fiber industry like nylon right so this is the, these are the three, three topics with respect to cotton textile industries okay how to study this topic sir mm. Study about how textile industries occupy a unique position in Indian economy. Five-star question. Uh, also, why is cotton textile industries concentrated on Maharashtra and Gujarat areas? That's also a five-star question. Sir, what about the limitations faced by cotton industries? That is a three-star question. Study this particular lecture with respect to these three topics, and uh, you will attend these questions in the board exam. Uh, thank you for listening to the lecture if you like our lecture subscribe to us uh, click the bell icon obviously put a like in the lecture uh, thank you for listening to the lecture once more uh, happy studying cheers and thank you let's see in the next lecture cheers and thank you thank you bye cheers